and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today I want to talk about the RIP wrap uh, or the Prussia Mendel Iteration 2 3D printer. Uh, here's an example of uh, a flower and a vase that were created on the uh, Prussia Mendel that I've built. Uh, I'm presently working on my third one. I'm using them in my classroom. Uh, they're a great uh, tool for hooking the students into design. Uh, we also use the SolidWorks and SolidWorks is a great 3D modeling tool and we're using uh, that along with the Prussia Mendel to uh, create a lot of interest for the students. Students can't wait now uh, to get onto the computers and start uh, designing and creating. Uh, the Prussia Mendel Iteration 2 open source. Uh, both the software and the hardware is open source, for source so it makes it pretty inexpensive uh, to build one. You can build one if you're careful and buy things off of eBay or some of the better uh, source supply places uh, for a little bit around, right around $600. Uh, the software uh, for Windows, you're going to need the Adreno firmware. The Adreno is the uh, little computer that drives uh, the stepper motors. Uh, I found the Adreno at uh, .cc to be the one that uh, works uh, for the Mega 2560 Adreno. And that's the one I use with the ramps uh, driver, uh, motor driver. Uh, you need to install the drivers, uh, which is in the drivers folder for that package that you download. And go ahead and, and uh, allow the computer to uh, install those drivers so that you can talk to the Adreno. You need to start the Adreno software. And once you get it started, you're going to need to uh, open uh, the Marlin.pde. This will be the firmware. Uh, that the Adreno needs in order to run uh, the ramps which drives the motors for the printer. You can find Marlin version 1 at GitHub. Uh, once you get your Marlin.pde uh, open, you're going to look at the configuration H tab, which is the second tab over. You need to open that up and there's a few things in the configuration file that you need to set. First thing would be the motherboard. Uh, motherboard 3.3 sets the ramps uh, 1.3 and that's the the ramps that sits on top of the Adreno, which again drives the stepper motors. Uh, inside here you're going to find a temperature uh, sensor, uh, zero, and you're going to want to set number one for the 100K uh, thermistors. The 100K thermistors are pretty commonly used uh, both for the heated bed and the hot end. The hot end is what extrudes the plastic. Uh, the PID settings, uh, you're going to need to send a command uh, to the proctor face and that command will be 303 and I've set uh, 185 and I use PLA plastic now you can use uh, ABS or PLA I like the PLA uh, it's uh, it, it extrudes at a lot lower temperature and it's uh, pretty easy to work with uh, then you'll set the KP the KI and the KD settings once you get that information back uh, after you set that command and this will help set up uh, the control settings for the temperature setting uh, for the uh, extruder. Uh, otherwise you'll find that the, the, the temperature varies quite a bit uh, without these PID settings put in place. Uh, also in the configuration uh, H file you're going to find in-stop settings. Uh, you'll find them for the X, uh, Y, and Z. Uh, I've set mine for true and that seems to work, uh, work well for what I'm trying to do. Uh, also in the configuration H file, you'll find the movement settings for the X, Y, and Z stepper motors. Uh, the values here, 80, 80, 25, 60, and 900. The 80 and 80 are for the X and Y. Uh, the 2560 is for the Z axis, and then the 900 is for my extruder. The software uh, that you're also going to need is Python. And you'll need to download and, and install Python and the uh, extensions for Python, the WX Python. And also you need to uh, install the serial wind for Python so that the Python uh, can communicate uh, with the, uh, the ramps in the Adreno. If that's all installed and working, uh, you'll need to uh, run the uh, prompter face.pe, uh, which is the uh, Python script uh, that will run now under Python and will start that uh, print run master. And if everything was working right, you'll get this final screen, which is the screen that you'll need for uh, driving uh, the Prussian Mendel. Uh, you'll notice that you'll have a 
com, I have a COM3 setting, and that's what I found uh, that the Adreno is connected to. You'll have a setting uh, for the speed. Uh, you'll you'll uh, down here you'll find the heat bed uh, and the extruder uh, temperature settings. Right now that shows they're off. Uh, those will need to be set, and you just need to download an STL or a G code file from an STL and print your first part. Uh, there's a lot of documentation, a lot of information, a lot of good YouTubes uh, on the internet uh, for setting this up. The biggest uh, problems that I've heard from people is getting the software set up and running. Uh, but it's available. It's out there. Uh, I think everyone should have one of these. It's a great little tool. Uh, you can create your own parts. You can create your own toys. Um, I'm working with my grandson here, and it's we've got a little toy factory, and we can pretty much design and build anything you want. Uh, that's all I got for now. Uh, thank you very much for your time.